Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so delighted to see that the 2021 Seoul Academy of International Law is coming to a very successful closing. Let me take this opportunity to thank all those who have contributed to making this conference a resounding success. I wanted to pay special tribute to the faculty members at the 2021 Seoul Academy of International Law who have graciously agreed to teach the courses and to share their profound insight despite their busy schedules. My sincere appreciation goes to all the participants for sharing their invaluable expertise and experiences with such enthusiasm and professionalism. Although the Academy was held virtually due to COVID-19 pandemic, I am confident that the lectures by and discussions with some of the most renowned scholars in international law provided you with a unique opportunity to learn the most recent developments of international law in such an effective manner. With the upsurge of complexity in interstate relations, and now with the outbreak of COVID-19, the world community increasingly sees international law as a necessary tool to build and maintain international peace and security. Compliance with the rules of international law is all the more important in the Asia-Pacific region because it opens a door to opportunities for sexual and regional cooperation that harmonize enabling nations' diverse aspirations. A rules-based order which helps settle their differences through the means and institutions prescribed by international law will certainly ensure political stability and sustainable growth and prosperity in this region. I sincerely believe that the 2021 Seoul Academy of International Law helped the participants now not only gain more insight about international law, but also foster a stronger belief in the importance of building trust and cooperation in the region based on the international law. Most of all, I hope that this solidarity and friendship forged through this academy will sharpen our collective wisdom as we pave the way for regional and global prosperity. Let me conclude my remarks by expressing my sincere appreciation to the staff of the Center for International Law of KNDA, who worked day and night to bring this important program to a successful conclusion. I look forward to seeing you all again next year and I wish you to stay safe and healthy. Thank you.